All right, so I'm just sitting down with my fresh cup of coffee, just how I like it, light brown, caramel brown, just like the women of Peru. And so I'm trying to install Windows 11. And as you can see, I have this caution that says we couldn't create a new partition. So what we're gonna to do to fix this is if you tried the format, you tried the refresh and th those aren't working, what you wanna do is come down to your keyboard here. And yes, I do have an eight inch finger to palm spam. So, you know, I can reach across the keyboard here. And ladies, you know what they say about men of big hands, we're good at fixing things. So if you're broken, we can fix you. Anyways, so what we want to do is hit the shift and F10 and this is going to open up the window here. So what we want to do is go disk part and we will hit enter. Let me just try to do this with one hand. And so we want to list the disks that we have. So I'm going to go list disk and that's going to give us the list of disks that we have. So I have this 250 SSD that I'm trying to actually put this Windows 11 on. So I know it's a 250 gigabyte one. So if I come down here, I can actually see this is the 250 gigabyte, which is in disk zero. So remember what position the hard drive that you are trying to do this is in, so disk zero. So what I want to do is select that disk. So I'm gonna go select disk and I'm gonna put the zero. So now I'm selecting disk zero, hit enter. And so disk zero is now the selected disk. So I'm in that disk now. And first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clean it. So I'm just gonna type clean, I'm gonna hit enter and succeeded in cleaning the disk. Okay, all good. So now what I wanna do is I wanna convert it to an MBR. So I'm gonna type convert and then in caps I'm gonna put MBR and then I'm gonna hit enter. And it says successfully converted the selected drive to MBR format. So now I can actually exit this. So I'm going to type exit. And then to get out of those window as well, I'm just going to type exit again. And that's going to exit that. So now what I want to actually do is I want to hit refresh here. So now I have unallocated space and this is the 250 oops, 250 SSD. So what I want to do is I want to actually just go down to new and then I'm just going to hit apply uh, to ensure that all Windows features work correctly. Windows might create additional partitions for the system. Okay, and now I'm just going to hit next. And as you can see, it is working. And so hopefully this helps you and thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.